Hello and welcome, my name is Andrea Joyce, I am the course team leader for film studies here at Long Road Sixth Form College. So in this video I'm going to be spending a little bit of time with you talking about the summer work. So don't worry about the summer work if you've already looked at it and thought, eek! Hopefully this video will answer some of the questions that you might have. The idea behind it is really to ease you in gently to what it will be like when you get here and you're studying film for real at A level. So. Um, the work really centres around the work of the film critic Mark Kermode. Um, you should definitely be thinking about reading around and listening to some of what Mark Kermode has to say about film. He's really interested in film, he's very passionate about it and he's really articulate when it comes to talking about film. So he recently did a series called Secrets of Cinema on the BBC, so you should be able to access all of the previous and more recent episodes of Secrets of Cinema on BBC iPlayer. If you have any issues with that, then just drop me an email and we'll work around it. Each of the episodes focuses on a particular type of film. Now, notice I didn't say genre. Arguably, something like a heist film or a coming-of-age film isn't necessarily a genre in the traditional sense, whereas something like a horror or a science fiction is more traditionally thought of as a genre of film. But what Mark Kermo does brilliantly in each of these episodes is he gives a little bit of history about that type of film, how it was developed, some of the kind of really notable examples of that type of film, as well as then breaking down the component parts or what we would call conventions of that type of film. That's really, really useful for us as students of film to understand what it is about a film that enables us to identify it as belonging to a particular genre or type of film. So, that really focuses us on what I'd like us to do for the first task. Okay, so for task one, what I've asked you to do is produce a slideshow. Now, if you could do that slideshow in Google Drive, that would be really great. If you already have a Gmail address that you're happy to use for college, then great. If not, then make yourself one. Something like andreafilmstudies at gmail.com would work just fine. When you get here to Long Road uh, and start studying A-level film, we're going to be using Google Drive quite substantially. So all of the resources that you need for your classes will be on Google Drive. So it's useful to start using it now. Uh, Google Slides works just like PowerPoint. Uh, and the great thing about it is you can access it anywhere, anytime. So obviously that's great from the perspective of um, being able to access your work from a revision point of view too. And you could even do your homework on the bus. Great. So for task one, make your slideshow and what I want you to do is give a kind of plotted history of the genre and how it developed, mention some of the notable films and then give a summary as Mark does in his, each of his episodes as to the key conventions for each of those films. Okay, so that's the introductory section. The next part of the task is a little bit meatier. What I'd like you to do is pick one of the films that belongs to that particular type of film and find a scene from it that really enables you to talk in a bit more detail about how that scene demonstrates some of the conventions of that type of film. Okay. So um, if you have a look on YouTube, then a channel like Movie Clips is really, really useful for finding lots and lots of different examples of scenes from loads of different films throughout the years. So you might want to start there if you can't think of a film off the top of your head that you'd like to talk about. Um, so include a, a link to the clip on your slideshow and then start breaking down how that scene helps to illustrate the use of some of the conventions of that type of film. So you'll see on the next slide I've given you a bit of an example. So this is a still from the film E.T. the Extraterrestrial. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should. It's a great example of a science fiction film. Arguably it has elements of a coming of age film as well, but it is most definitely a science fiction film and I think one of the best out there. It's also a really great example of 80s films, my era. I love 80s films, they have a very particular kind of aesthetic, a particular look to them and E.T. is another great example of that. So you'll see in that slide I've talked a little bit about the alien as a convention of a sci-fi film, so you typically would expect to see perhaps spaceships, aliens in a sci-fi film, but what's great about E.T. is 
the styling of E.T. as an alien is quite different to some of the other conventional science fiction films. You can see he's got these lovely big friendly eyes and in this scene at the end he's got a, a beating red heart. So these very humanistic qualities, although um, he is seen as other, he's an alien, because he has those humanistic kind of appealing qualities of the big eyes and the beating red heart, he's not seen as threatening in the way that perhaps aliens in other films are seen. Uh, so it's interesting because it demonstrates a convention, but it does something perhaps a little bit unexpected with that convention. And we talk a lot in film studies about audience expectations, about conventions, approaching them traditionally, or perhaps doing something a little bit unexpected with them. So hopefully this slide gives you an example of the types of things that you could talk about um, when you're doing your analysis of a scene. Okay, So include some screenshots in there if you can um, and try to make it as visual as possible. So that's the second part of task one. Task two. Now this is really your opportunity to um, produce a piece of work that is a little bit more substantial. Okay, so what I want you to do is choose one film that belongs to any of the types of films that Mark Kermo just talked about in his Secrets of Cinema series. Um, it could be a film that you know very well, or maybe it's one that he's talked about in that series that you thought, hmm, that sounds interesting, I'm going to go and watch that. And what I'd like you to do is write a review of it. Now remember what I said about film criticism, that it's not just about watching a film and saying whether you like it or not, and it certainly isn't about watching a film and then just telling us what happens in it. That's description, it's not reviewing and it's not analysing. So what I've done for you here is put together a list of questions to help you think about the key things that you want to include in your review um, and also think about how you might structure that. So I'm looking for about 500 words and the key things obviously you need to include is what is the film that you're reviewing, what is it about, um, what is the plot or theme and what do you think the director is trying to do with that film? Is there a kind of a message or a particular theme that they're trying to communicate to the viewer? Also you need to think what genre does the film belong to and how does the film tell its story? Okay, Maybe there's something, an element within it that really strikes you, perhaps something about the visuals or the lighting or the camera work that you think is particularly interesting. Um, also, it's important to think about how is the audience likely to react to the film? So what was the response to that film? Maybe something happened in it that was a bit unexpected, that made you feel a particular way. Don't give away what that is, nobody likes plot spoilers. But you can talk about how that film made you feel, and I think that's an important thing to include. A personal response to a film is, um, is valid, particularly in a film review. Also think about how well does the film fulfil its purpose. So if you think back to what was the director's intention, how well do you think they carry that off? How well do you think they communicate that message in the film? And then say if you think it's any good. Um, so is it worth people investing two or three hours of their time into? Did it leave an impression on you? Do you feel that it's one of those films that talks about something that's really, really important and that it's something that everybody should know about and everybody should take the time to watch. Okay, so it's a little bit of some guidance for you. Use those questions to give you a little bit of structure. It's about 500 words we're looking for. Just have a go at it and have some fun with it. Okay, um, so those are the tasks for the summer work for A-level film studies. I hope that this video has given you a little bit more of an insight into what I'm looking for for this work. If you do have any other questions, this is my email address and um, do feel free to drop me an email and ask any questions you may have. And I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in September and you joining us here at Long Road. Thank you very much.